is section 82, page 365, number 1 through 27 odd. New vocabulary for the week is substitution method, system of equations, and solutions. I guess that should be an S there. Um, our objective for the day is we are learning to solve a system of equations by using the substitution method. All right. When given two equations, basically we have to look for the equation where one variable is all alone. And so as we see that y is equal to 2x, I separate the two equations, I can substitute in, remember, these are equivalent, this is equivalent to this, and so wherever we see a y, we can substitute the 2x. And so that's what we're going to do in the next equation. We're going to substitute in 2x so we can eliminate one of the variables temporarily. So as I do x, it's my dog, sorry, plus 2x equals 6. Then we have 1x plus 2x equals 3x equals 6. Divide both sides by 3, and x is equal to 2. Now, very important that you show me with arrows which way my eyes are supposed to go. I want to see the arrow to where you are substituting. Now, if x is equal to, remember, we're looking for an x comma y solution. So if x equals 2, I can go back over here. I can go back to either original equation and substitute that 2 in for the x. And I'm going to say y equals 2x. I'm going to say y equals 2 times 2. And y is equal to 4. So if y is 4, and x is 2, and we put this in order of x comma y, then we have 2 comma 4 as the solution. Okay. There you go. It's a little neater and cleaner. So again, our solution is 2 comma 4. You can just put the parentheses. Now I do expect people to do 2 comma 4 to put it in the parentheses. Okay. All right. I'm going to pause it there for a second. Pause the recording if you need it. Here we go. Okay. So yesterday we learned about the graphing method. Now this is why the graphing method is not used as often as the substitution method. With the graphing method, as I go to graph each equation, start at the B, moving up one, and then we'll take the other equation, and I'm going to get the Y alone, my M is one third, my B is four, I start at four, I plot the equation. Now, the problem with this is let's look at that solution. Okay, the solution is not at the intersection of two boxes. And as you can see right here, it's about 4 comma 3, but it's not exactly. So that's not a solution. We need an exact solution. So the best way to do it is either with the substitution method or the addition method. So, um, sorry about that. So we're going to stick with um, let's try this with substitution. You'll see we can get a much more exact answer. Since y is all alone, I'll be substituting x minus 1 for the y. Okay, I'm going to be substituting the x minus 1 and substitute it into the other equation. So it would be x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1 equals 12. x plus 3x 
minus 3 equals 12. I'm adding 3. I've got 4x equals 15. Divide both sides by 4. And x equals 3 and 75 hundredths. So I can now substitute this in here. And I end up with 2 and 75 hundredths. So my ordered pair is not going to be an exact number. And, and there's no way we can physically figure out that that's what it is by looking at it. Because that's what we do with graphing. We look at it. When it intersects at two boxes, we can figure that point out. But right here, we can't. So we really have to use the substitution or elimination. In this case, we're learning our substitution today. We'll learn the elimination after. All right, so let's try it. Your turn. X is alone. So pause the recording. And let's substitute the 3Y in for the X. And let's solve for Y. Go. All right, let's check our work. Remember, you don't have to get numbers alone. Uh, you don't have to get y alone. You have to just go for whatever's easiest to get alone. So 3y is already, x is already alone, so we can substitute it. And we'll solve for the y. And now I'm going to 2y minus 12y equals 5. It's negative 10y equals 5. Divide both sides by negative 10. And y equals 1 half, negative 1 half. So as I substitute that in, right, I'm going to substitute in negative 1 half. Remember, this should be lined up with the numerator. With my PowerPoint, it doesn't line up exactly. So we end up with x equals negative positive 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and 1 over 2 is 2. So my ordered pairs are negative 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 over 2. Okay? Now, we can check that because both of those, if you put them in to both equations, they should work to make it equivalent. So let's try, I'm going to try checking it with 3, negative 3 over 2, I'm going to substitute here, times 3 and negative 1 over 2. Okay, it works. Negative 3 over 2 equals negative 3 over 2. Okay, let's try the next one. 2 times negative 1 over 2, right, minus 4 times negative 3 over 2 equals 5. So I'm going to get negative 1 positive 6 equals 5, and so 5 equals 5. It works. So all I'm doing is this time substituting in my solution. So we can always check ourselves. Check the point, the solution that you get. All right, this is getting a little bit more difficult because now you have to get a variable alone. So of the two equations, what is the easiest equation to get a variable alone? I hope you're choosing the first one because the x does not have a coefficient. So that's always going to be easier. So I'm going to get the x alone, subtract 2y. Now every time I see a x, I'm going to substitute in negative 2y plus 5. And then we finish it up. Negative 4y plus 10 plus 3y equals 7.
negative y equals negative 3. We have y equals 3. And there we go. If y equals 3 is substituted in, and then we get negative 2 times 3, negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. So my solution is negative 1 comma 3. The solution to the system. Now remember, a solution is the point where they intersect. It's the point where they intersect. Okay, try this one on your own. Now remember, you have to get a variable alone. So go. I think I would have gotten, yes, 2x. Let's check our work. And then I go. Divide everything by negative 1 or multiply everything by negative 1. And we end up with, take all the opposites, opposite equations. I should have left out a parenthesis there. Remember, times negative 1. And then we get y equals 2x minus 6. Now we can go into our more complicated equation. So every time we see a y, we're going to substitute it in. Now remember, it's 4 times y, so 4 times this quantity. So now I get 3x plus 8x. And then we're going to simplify 11x, we'll subtract the 24, we get 11x equals 29, divide by 11, and x equals 29 over 11. So as I come over here, it's going to be 54 over 11 minus 6. And when I do 6, 50, sorry, 58, yeah. Now, how did I get that? If I have, let me do that in, intermediate st step for you. So if I have 58 over 11 minus 6, I need something that equals 6 that has a denominator of 11, right? Something that equals 6, so that would have to be 66. So here we go, and that ends up being negative 8 over 11, negative 8 over 11. So my solution is 29 over 11 comma negative 8 over 11. You have to put it in the ordered pair with the parentheses. Okay, let's do a word problem. The chatty phone charges a flat monthly fee of $20 plus 8 cents per minute. Telco charges $14 plus 10 cents per minute. We have two unknowns here. Now, we have to decide what's going to be our X, what's going to be our Y. Um, our Y is always the depender. So we have two unknowns here, minutes and charges. Does the charge depend on the minutes, or do the minutes depend on the charge? So, since charge depends on the minutes, that's going to be your Y. So let's say Y is equal to your total charge cost, and M minutes would be your X. So as we write our first equation, 20 plus 8X, 20 plus 8X, is equal to the charge, that's the chatty, right? and then we can do the, oh and it's 8 cents, so remember it's not just 8, it's 0 .08, it's not 0 .8, that would be 80 cents, and telco would be 14 plus 10 cents, so it would be y equals 14 plus 10 hundredths x, right, or one, one tenth x, sorry, one tenth x. Now, since they're both equivalent, we can set them equal to each other. 
And then I would clear. I think I'd multiply everything by 100. No, they're not. Let's not do that. I want you guys to clear, if possible. A lot less room for error. So I'm going to multiply everything by 100. We get 200 plus 8x equals 1400 plus 10x. So I'm going to subtract 8x, subtract 8x, and a oh, 140. I knew there was a, okay. Which should be 2,000, sorry, 1,400 was correct. Should be 2,000 and 1,400. Okay, here we go. So um, now we're going to, we get 2x equals, we got the 1,400 plus 2x equals 2,000. I'm subtracting for 1,400. We end up with 600 equals. 2x divided by 2, divided by 2, so x equals 300, and remember, x stands for minutes, so when do they charge the same amount? At 300 minutes. Charge the same amount. We could potentially figure out what the same amount would be, but they're not asking for it. They're only, I always go back to my problem and I see what do they want to know. Now, I like you guys to clear. And that, my friends, is our lesson.